So what I did is I tried to make like a Swiss Army knife for AT&T helps the app help AT&T helps people help people. And so what we have is every function that I have in here is available in the app store. So the technology is there to do this. Um, I had to decide whether I want to program something last night, but I thought it's really too early to program at this point because we have too many people here who have to try it out. And usually when I do consulting with somebody, we do a paper mock-up first, we play with it, and then once the interaction is down, then it goes to code. So on the first screen we have the button that's for SLS, the bug out tools, and information. If you press the SLS button, what happens? is that the app will run a test with you. And it's, a, it's an adaptive test that determines what your state of mind is. It will ask you to like, hit points on the screen. Uh, while it's doing that, it's actually recording your face. It takes a 10 second video. From that, I can calculate your heart rate. If you fail the test, if the app thinks that you're not quite okay, it will upload that 10 second video. And then you come back to that, what happens with that later. If you push the bug out button, you will see a map display. You will see an arrow that directs you towards your meeting point. Uh, you will also see your group of friends and family, and uh, the cat is there too. And it leaves, okay, so we have a maze solving aid. You can drop beacons if you encounter something where a road is blocked and then it automatically tries to run around, around that. You have little footsteps that are left behind, so if you have to retrace your steps, you can. It shows your group members, if you touch one of your group members, you can send them direct SMS messages. If you, why this is running, if you fall, or you have other, you know, it's, the accelerometer picks that up. If, if you move something, if you fall somewhere, then it would run a test again. Again, if you fail the test, it sets up the alert and uploads the, the uh, video. If you go to tools, I wanted them to use this app not just in an emergency, but kind of in a day-to-day way too. So I put it in the flash I have, which is just switching on the LED uh, for the flash. Is this one that doesn't report the GPS location for 30 seconds? No, no, not at all. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, yeah, no, not at all. So then for people like me who are very nearsighted, these things actually make excellent uh, glass interpreters. So if I look at my glasses, I can actually use my iPod to see distance because my eyes focus really close. So we have the glass application. There's a medical application that is scrolling text, which is kind of cute. Let me show this to you. Communication at a distance, no local network necessary. <laughs> we have an assist button and we have a pet mode. Uh, I'll come to that later. So, that was the first page. Now, here we come to the preferences screen. And in this situation, you are either a human, you're an angel, or you're a hero. A human is just another person and you decide what you want to allow. So for example, do you want an alert to go out if you fall? Or do you not want anybody to know that you fall? Uh, are you okay with the app sending status updates of your location by SMS to your group or do you not want that? You, know, you may want to set up, you may have your reasons for not wanting some of these things. You enter your medical information, what medications you need, uh, all those things. And you have your group. Your group can be friends, can be co-workers, can be neighbors. Whoever you want to connect with should something happen that goes into your group. If you're an angel, that means you're a volunteer who agrees to help out, uh, but is not local. So it could be a surgeon in Florida on a golf course who has signed up with this app to help out when something happens you know, in California. Uh, you can donate the cash, you can donate uh, SMS support, just talking to somebody. Uh, you can call friends and family on their behalf, or you can order a pet. 
If you're a hero, that means you're local and you're helping them. Uh, at that point, we need to know what your qualifications are. What can you do? So, are you a medical doctor? Are you an EMT? Do you know Spanish, Chinese languages? Uh, do you know construction? Maybe do you know insurance? How much weight can you do? Now, that information, if you wear this thing here like this, it can actually scroll with the function that I showed you earlier. So that if you're in the field, you can look at somebody and you can get a quick idea of what their capabilities are. Oh, okay, sorry. This is the assist button. This is what somebody sees who's remote who wants to get out. It's a map. You see, for example, here you have 102 videos that have been uploaded in this location. Here, 30 videos. You push on this, you get 30 videos. The app ranks them according to what it thinks the severity is. If you're a doctor, you push one of them. You see the 10 second video, you see what it has calculated from it. Then it's type to act. If you're a remote person, you would write a comment on it and upload that. If you're a local person, you go to that person, you do something, then you write a comment on it. Uh, we have the scrolling text that I already demonstrated. There's also a Morse code function where you use the flashlight to communicate. Uh, it just uses either the light board uses sound, so if you have like a hard sound, that will work too. And the user display is basically like an SMS. Uh, the medical thing is a CPR coach. You can put this in your pocket, and as you're moving, the accelerometer can tell you whether you're doing it right or not. Monitoring. You can put this onto somebody's chest, and the camera, together with the flashlight LED, can measure the heart rate while the accelerometer can pick up the movement of the chest. If you use the large display, you can see that from a distance. You can have 10 people sitting over there, you can just glance over and see who's in trouble. When you go closer, you touch that, and you see a more detailed product. And this is pet mode, and this is maybe if AT&T can put, come up with a way of keeping our old sims alive, you can put the phone into a pouch and put it around the cat's net. It would only have one function, which is called owner, but it would show up as a yellow dot on the bubble cap. Uh, 